Warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises and jump scares. This is a proof of concept pre-budget demo and everything is subject to change. The next few messages will inform you what is considered temporary. You know what, I feel like that's not necessary to read because most likely if I enjoy it this time, I'll probably play the full game. What is up everybody, Aaron here and welcome to Afton Built. Now, as you did see from the very start, and it also says here, it is a proof of concept demo, so it's not a full game, and things are obviously not going to be, you know, fully polished. But I've seen some people play this uh, well, a while ago, actually, and I've decided, you know what? I want to play it, so let's jump into it. Now, as far as I... the music just, I think I've spent long enough talking, but as far as I know, you play as a mechanic that works on the machines, that pretty much upkeeps them at night, so... Let's get into it. Fuck on, bro. So I'm guessing he's stealing an animatronic or something. That's my bit. Oh, then he just gets there. Okay, that's leveled. I swear that sounds like the scientist noise out of bleeding rust. Is that just me? That was some fucking that that was that was only the intro to get to this. <laughs> so that was something. There is spring trap. Oh. Okay. Um skip past the tutorial. Yeah, now let's go new game because Oh fuck, is this like an abandoned industrial new unit you rewalked into your I mean, just from the demo, it looks like there's going to be a lot of content in this game when it fully releases, if it fully releases, and if it's good, then I hope it fully releases. Another cutscene, okay. So I thought we were going to sort of be like a night time sort of... Sort of like night guard sort of maintenance type of fella. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Press F to interact. Well, welcome, loyal employee. And thank you for using the Afton Robotics personal assistant device, as stated in Clause 374 of your employee handbook. Okay. Since we value the physical fitness well, and strength of all our employees, oh, in case of emergencies, we will start your routine with some exercise. Oh, I actually, I actually. Please perform the minor physical effort known as moving. Great. 
If you are unable to move, please contact an Afton Robotics representative at the number... 55580. Oh, lovely. I'll remember that, so... Waiting to system... Connection to system missing awaiting transfer. You know, the jumping in this game is a little odd. I don't know why. Now, please crouch down by bending your why knee joints. Why the fuck that? Oh, oh let's see. Wonderful. Oh, this cheek is we know we can hit. depend on you making a quick escape if necessary. Speaking of speed, Eeeh. how about you show us what you got? Congratulations. You've exceeded our last measured record of... No connection to database. Please contact your supervisor to collect your badge at the listed fee. In case of certain situations listed in Clause 87, it might be a safe bet to take to higher ground. If you have not neglected your upper arm training routine, you should be able to climb anything up to 1.5 times your height. Yeah, okay. I send the cat walks. Okay, I'm guessing. There we go. Did I just run over again? I fucking did, man. I don't even need to jump. Although it probably would help. See, I don't like this because it makes me think there's going to be some sort of chase scene now. And a big one at that. Considering how much we can actually move. But the game does feel smooth. Thank you for partaking in your daily exercise. No. Nope. I've been fucking flashbanged. Oh shit. I'm guessing I'm blue because they haven't finished the character models. Which makes sense because as they did say it's a no, it's a, it's a demo pretty much. Uh we're going for the workshop, yeah let's go. I'm fucking rapid though, I tell you that. Presents. I hope this music isn't copyrighted, but not that it'll affect my fucking channel anyway, unless I got striked, but uh, place the air pad in its... In its fucking... Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> well, it's been a long time since I've been able to get out of that miserable suit. I do owe myself one for making it work after all. Interesting. It doesn't look like this workshop is regulated. Uh, hello? Oh, yeah. Is anyone here? Hello? I'm right in front of you. Hello? Uh, hello there. You'll have to excuse my poor communication skills. I've, I've just awoken from a very terrible nightmare, and I need a lot of help. You're the one who freed me from the suit, correct? Yeah, can I answer? I see. I guess I owe you a favor for that. I apologize if this is a lot of information to take in right this now. This doesn't listen to my microphone, does it? I'll give the liberty of explaining everything. Oh. All right. Uh, judging by the look on your face... I don't have a face, I'm blue. shocked that I'm even here. And I'm sure you've got a lot of questions you'd like answered. This form that I currently inhabit, it's less than ideal. You seem to be quite smart if you were able to free me after so long, so now that we're both here, why don't we strike a deal? If you can help me regain possession of my true form, I can show you endless possibilities. The type of things people, people dream of. Control over life itself. Well, we best get started. Let's see the calendar. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, calendar. Oh, that doesn't look good. 2023. Mm. That makes things a little more complicated than I anticipated. Uh, this material that we're after, it has a shelf life. However, it can stay fresh and useful if it remains inhabited. Uh, like me, for example. This remnant we're after. It'll be harder to obtain, but I have no doubt that the two of us have the capabilities to acquire it. In order to protect my life's work of creation and manufacturing,
The canisters that held the remnant were fitted with tamper locks that would ignite and burn if someone other than me tried to get a hold of them. I've interfaced your goggles to detect these. You should see it in your overlay now. My fucking goggles. Oh, these fucking things. There's only two left in this one. Then again, this model looks like it's been through hell and back. A long time ago, we tried to expand our franchise to the southwest in Arizona, much further than the original restaurant. The managers had to cool the models down every so often with ice packs because the plastic shells kept deforming from the heat. <laughs> Trust me, I'm glad I never went back there. If we find an animatronic with an inhabited remnant core, there's a high chance it'll be hostile and on guard mode. Uh, we'll have to stun them using our surroundings before we're able to pry their tamper locks off. Uh, try moving our friend here in front of that scooper arm. Oh, lovely. Well, I mean, I don't think this thing's gonna really do much to us, but... Damn, um, how the fuck am I pushing you, F? Where did you find this, anyway? These things the aren't bin. exactly public knowledge. In the, the power bin. cord usually leads to the button to activate it. It should speak for itself. That's... Oh, Jesus Christ. What do I got there? I'm guessing I need it. Fuck a jump, you fat bastard. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go, go on the name and say I have the train. Fuck me, alright. Press R to bring up your tool wheel. From here you can select your stun bombs to be placed. Okay, stun bombs can be used to power electronics via their buttons, which are detonated and tablet up. You can detonate bombs that are in sight, which is middle mouse. You can also detonate bombs that are in your camera view. Stun bombs will also pause the animatronics in their tracks. I just had the fucking life scared out of me there. Anyway, I'm back to bleeding while I was. Stun bombs, now, you press on. That was unnecessarily loud. Right. And... I see the shit out of me. Hitting animatronics with an external device will cause them to be stunned for a short while during this window walk up and interact with them in order to remove a tamper lock. Correct skill checks remove one tamper lock, while perfect skill checks remove two. You must remove all tamper locks before you can finish off an animatronic for good. Well, would you look at that? Still works after all those years. <laughs> nice. Uh, or, or not. I guess they only have one more move left on them. Oh, God. You've been oh. treating it well, I hope. Uh, so, once you've removed all the tamper locks, you can get to removing the remnants. But that process can be very long. Our best bet is to disable the animatronic permanently. Unless you happen to have some dynamite or highly explosive weaponry laying around in here, then we'll have to utilize the environment around us to finish it off for good. Uh, do you have a map lying around anywhere? I'll note down the locations of the active remnant cores. Fucking rem return to me. Where does me land? I'm guessing my van is probably the truck that I top brought in. Yep, oh, yep, there you go. I'm not sure how long this is gonna be. Demo tutorial knows I'm gonna need a, okay, let's go with the tutorial because I don't want to be here for fucking years. I'm guessing this last one might be in the full game, or I have to complete this. Mr. Candu's Garbage Disposal. Oh, there's a place over here as well. Double trap. Shocking discovery. Remove the animatronics tamper locks. Close all flooding valves in the trenches. Gain entry to flow control room. Right. Where the f... I guess we just... Hold on, what are my objectives again? My objectives are level trap, shocking discovery...
I'm hoping I have unlimited stamina because if I don't then I'd be fucked. Okay, area not available in them all. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh. Fuck! Don't chase me, don't chase me. Right, this is a way to get out. What is, aren't they all? Right, there's three in the trenches. Get up, get up. I'm hoping height is my safe ground. Oh no, I am really hoping that the high ground is my safety in this game. Because if it's not, then I am fucked. Right, I'll do the trenches possibly last, I don't know. And I do want uh, right, shock in the sky. I don't know what the fuck this is meant to be. Level trap. <laughs> oh! Get up! I'm oh, a dead man. <coughs> <coughs> oh god, I'm still dying for my cop as well. Right, first of all, let me do this, let me do this. Since it's there. There we go, there's the last one of these. Right, I need to put it... I need to angle this in a way... Oh shit. Stuck. Right, let's do this quick. That's so difficult. Won't let me interact. It's not allowing me to interact with it. It's literally right, the game is not allowing me to do what I have to do. I feel like all there's left for me to do now, other than actually complete this level, is die to the actual anim animatronic. <laughs> game over, and game over indeed. Right, so that is Afton built now, don't get me wrong, I am actually fairly sad that I wasn't able to beat that level during then, you know, it did sort of bug on me, the F 
the indirect wouldn't actually you know, get off my screen so I was sort of bugged and act like I just couldn't press a full stop it just wasn't usable at all don't get me wrong I probably will make another video on this actually finishing that level because I really do want to see what comes after it and I do want to see what happens when you you know I'm guessing that's the thing I'm guessing you like break apart the animatronic and you take it back to your warehouse the same way you're done with the spring trap and the Freddy and the cheek ahead and all that and if that's what this game is going to be like true I'm actually really excited to see if this game becomes a full game not to mention my thing is just stuck on a black screen and all it is is making noise but anyway that is going to do it for this video I will try make another video on this and especially if it comes out as a full game which I can't see happening anytime soon but maybe in the next year or two it'll hopefully come out but yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more content like this or content in general don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video peace